Yesterday we did a video on our rankings of team affinities by divisions, which players we believe you should get first, etc. And today I'm going to explain to you what showdown is, how it pertains to team affinities, and why it is important for you to learn to excel at showdown, etc. So, first things first, if you're new here and up new in today's content, please make sure to hit that like button, red subscribe button, and turn on that channel notification bell. Also, you can click on the community tab, interact with me there a lot. I put polls up, pictures, etc. And you can click on more Blade Miss on the home section and subscribe to my other YouTube channels as well. And if you want to become a member of the channel, whenever I do start streaming on YouTube, if you subscribe in April, you will have one of the longest badges by the time I do eventually start streaming. And last but not least, there are going to be cards popping up on top of me, top right hand corner, and they're just basically going to be suggestions to other playlists I have on this channel, etc. How to conquest, how to showdown, how to ball player, etc. All of that good stuff that you can go ahead and check out for yourself. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Twitch, all of that. Let's get into it. So, Team Affinity, what is that? That is a program, it's the 42 series program, where each and every single player or each team within a division has a selected player to represent them in the 42 series. They are all 88 overalls and they all have amazing attributes to start off the game with, especially if you are a no money spent account. They are all free to get, you are not able to sell them and the way you get them is through various tasks. So if we go down to the bottom, you will see that there are missions to do. Tally innings both offline and online are two missions available whenever you're doing it online it will track it for the offline as well now you either unlock these players for these missions down here through these two missions or you can do it through exchanges of showdown vouchers which is what we're going to discuss in a second you can't really do it through east affinity conquest effectively because you can only do this once and as you can see, the first pack that you get comes in at 20 team affinity points. So in order for you to unlock it off of East Affinity Conquest, you would have to do the moments as well, which give you two points a pop. So you would get 10 total here and you would unlock the first AOLE's Flashbacks and Legends pack. And what these packs contain are the cards necessary to complete the missions within this and then as you continue on and get to team affinity 60 you will get the next pack that contains the players necessary to complete these missions and continue gaining points for the program the moments as i said give you a total of 10 points i've done all the moments i've done the conquest map as well i've been awarded the 15 march to october is a separate game mode sort of like franchise that you can go ahead and do to award you points and it awards you points based on the difficulty that you play March to October on. Collections is basically collecting all of the players that are live series of that certain team. That also gives you points, but it depends on the amount of diamonds that the team has. The more diamonds the team has, the more points it will go ahead and give you. For example, the Orioles give you three, while the Yankees give you seven. And then exchanges, you can exchange players in order to get points as well. But keep in mind when you exchange a player that means you're getting rid of that player forever you will never have him back unless you purchase him or buy him in a pack again and then last but not least we got what we call showdown vouchers which i currently have five of because i just beat a showdown because i wanted to show you it all before i actually hopped in here so we're still looking to finish off the nl lease we have 115 total so let's scroll all the way up to 115. showdown vouchers they are repeatable and you can do it basically non-stop until you get 100%. Each showdown voucher is worth three points. Now, unfortunately, the UI doesn't allow you to exchange all of them at once. So you have to go back and exchange them one by one. And another thing that is disappointing about this UI and quality of life when it comes to this game in general as well, is the fact that it kicks you out of the exchange screen, kicks you out of the voucher screen. So you have to scroll back down to it every single time. I wish it would just leave me in that screen where I exchange vouchers. So if I had 100 of those vouchers, I could easily just go ahead and exchange 100 of those vouchers so now i have 130 team affinity points because i exchanged five vouchers each and every single showdown that you beat successfully will give you five vouchers meaning 15 points 
towards the total of the team affinity program so you will be on your way to getting the nl lease once you beat showdown 10 times you'll have the entire thing but if you do not want to play showdown the entire 10 times as you open up the packs that they give you for the legends and flashbacks as well as the nl lease 42 players what you can do is you can add those players to your lineup like i have cliff floyd here from the mets and when you start doing single player modes like conquest you can insert them in the lineup have an excel sheet or a notepad and within that excel sheet or notepad you're gonna go ahead and track down the stats that you're getting inside the game until of course you go ahead and officially finish their pack or their mission once you finish their mission you can just take them off your team as i normally do as we get ourselves jimmy rollins and then the last person or we're missing two here so we'll get dansby swanson last one for us to pick up is going to be andrew mccutcheon and we're missing one uniform after we select this one so as you can see now that i got andrew mccutcheon right now and i got jimmy rollins as well i can go to the missions task and I can see now, okay, I have to get six hits with Jimmy Rollins. So I can add him to the squad, put him at short, and while I'm playing Conquest, I know, or online, I know I have to get six hits with him. I see Dansby Swanson, I gotta get eight hits with him. What are the rewards for completing this mission? Four team affinity points, four team affinity points. So a total of eight, it would take me to 138. And while doing that, I'm going to be tallying innings with this so if i complete 250 innings total each player tallies innings individually so if you have nine players from the al lease it's going to be nine times three per conquest game that you play for three innings so you'll be adding 27 innings a pop every 10 conquest games will be completing this you'll be able to get five so that's going to be 13 in total we're going to get to 143 and then if we complete a showdown we don't have to exchange all five vouchers into this section alone so that is basically the concept of team affinity programs and that's basically the concept of how to complete them and get a team full of diamonds currently if you look at our squad our squad is looking pretty good but that is not all we have for today we're actually going to go into showdown and i'm going to show you all the best way to draft the best perks etc and i'm going to do a walkthrough not sure if it will be on this video or not, but I'm 100% gonna do a walkthrough for all of you of me playing this. So let's start it off with how Showdown works. Showdown, you're gonna draft the team. There's an entry fee, but don't you worry. You can get all of that back and then some in terms of the stuff spent. So each little blue icon you see here is called a mini game. Each red one is called a boss game. When you play a boss game, if you fail it you have to restart pay that entry fee again and draft the team once again it's going to be a completely different team if you fail any of the blues you just continue on you can fail them you just won't get the squad upgrades that are available now when it says squad upgrades and it's telling you gold life series hitter gold perk it is not going on your main diamond dynasty team it is going into whichever team you drafted in this game mode and this game mode exclusively now you do not have to play out each and every single little mini game or mini boss you can go ahead and skip straight to the final showdown boss or if you want you can do these first three once you do the first three, if you don't want to face the mini boss and put yourself in jeopardy, you can just skip to the final showdown boss. Now, the reason that these mini games are important is that if you skip straight to the final showdown boss without playing any of these mini games, you'll be at a 12 to 0 deficit. And within 15 outs, you're going to have to come back from 12 to 0. And that is a difficult task for experienced players. And it is 100% a difficult task for new players as well so by completing these successfully what they do is they award you two points upon completion so if you go perfect in terms of the blues and the reds you'll have two to twelve four to twelve six to twelve here they don't award you points they just award you a diamond hitter eight to twelve ten to twelve twelve to twelve and then all you have to do is score one run in 15 outs now once again if you feel comfortable in your hitting ability you can get yourself two four six it's gonna be six to twelve and then you can go ahead and skip to the final boss and face the final boss most of the final bosses are going to be right-handed pitchers so if you want 
drafting players that are lefties is gonna go a long way but that's if you want but you also have to keep in mind when drafting that players that have gold cards they might appear twice so you might be getting as an example no one here unfortunately well Cattell Marte, I'm positive he has a gold card, a gold life series card in game. So if you were to get Cattell Marte, the diamond version here, he has the ability to pop up later on as the gold version, and you cannot have two Cattell Martes in your lineup, so do not waste that pick on the gold version. Just an advice, just warning you all. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Kyle Lewis as the first one, because out of all of them, he is the best hitter. You always want to pick the best hitter up. Then we go to someone like Fran Mill Reyes. Tim Anderson, he has a Gold Life Series card, so he has the opportunity to pop up later on when we're out of the diamond rounds. I'm gonna pick up Fran Mill Reyes because he has the most power, and power is what usually dominates here. You always have to pick a diamond starting pitcher in the first showdown, and you'll always have to pick a reliever. Now, they're gonna give you, it's most likely gonna always be the fourth round, they're gonna give you the option of picking up another pitcher, whether it's a starting pitcher or a relief pitcher. Do not ever pick up the pitcher in the fourth round when you see three hitters. Always, always, always pick up the hitter. Just trust me on that. Always, always, always pick up the hitter, no matter what you do. Now, we get another hitting round. Catchers are usually hard to come by, especially gold life series catchers. The best catcher available most of the times is going to be the Team Affinity, Diamond 88 overall, Salvador Perez. And as you can see, we have a pretty stacked out outfield as of right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up Wilson Contreras so we have a good catcher. Now, around the sixth round, as you guys see right here, you're going to be getting a mandatory bullpen round. That's why I say don't pick up that pitcher when you see three other hitters. Because mandatory, they're going to give you a bullpen round for you to go ahead and play with regardless. And then after that, you head on to the silver rounds around round seven. And you're going to see, yes, we get some catchers to appear. You might get lucky and not see any more catchers. But you see other players that can definitely join the team and help you out some way, somehow. First base is usually a position that's easy to fill in, etc. So we're going to pick up Tommy Edmond as our shortstop. Second base is not really the easiest position to go ahead and fill in for. So we're going to pick up Joe Panic. And then after this round right here, you're going to see that we have the ability to basically pick up some perks. So I have a pretty nicely assembled team, but that doesn't mean that this is the team that I want to go into showdown with. There might be some better hitters on the bench because they will fill the rest of the team up. They will fill out your bench and then give you some players that you don't even see are in your roster yet. So which are the best perks? Well, the majority of showdowns, it's all about hitting. There are going to be some pitching showdowns as well, or pitching mini games as well to do. But the final bosses and the mini boss before the final boss, it is scoring runs. It is only hitting. So picking up a pitching perk is never the way to go. Listen to me clearly. Never, 100% never pick up a pitching perk. You always want to pick up hitting perks. Don't pick up anything that tells you to bunt because it's unlikely that you're going to be bunting. And then you don't need increased speed to steal because it's unlikely that you're going to be stealing unless you're skipping to the final boss and you're down 12 to 0. That's the only time you would steal. I would always suggest when there's a perk that says exit velocity boost and then there's a perk that says contact boost, I will always suggest to pick up the exit velocity boost 150% of the time because the contact boost what it does is it enlarges your PCI when you hit the ball and most of the times when you enlarge the PCI it gives you a higher opportunity of inducing weak contact wherever you hit the ball but if you get an exit velocity boost it might be the difference between hitting a ball 350 and 375 so I would always pick up the exit velocity boost when you have an exit velocity boost like this one where it is two strike counts you might want to wait until you get two strikes but if you're comfortable hitting you just want to be following the pitch with the pci each and every single time now this is a perfect example of us having a bad silver round none of these perks i really like the only one that is usable for us is going to be rally time because it increases our exit velocity while losing with two outs that's the only one that is going to be useful 
because unless we go perfect in the mini games it's not going to be 12 to 12 for the final boss and in the mini boss we're automatically losing two to zero but we have 10 outs so this won't work until we have 10 outs but out of the ones available it is going to be the best one and then once again it's an exit velocity boost now look at this one look at these ones this is a perfect example of me telling you how it is hero time whenever you're playing any of the bosses whether it's the first mini red boss or if or if it's the final red boss i'm telling you hero time is one of the best perks available gold diamond silver it is one of the best perks available because it doesn't matter if you have a lead or excuse me it doesn't matter well actually that's true it doesn't matter if you have a lead or if you're down you're gonna be getting an exit velocity boost on each and every single swing so hero time is the best one as you can see these two say contact boost which means the pci will enlarge a little bit whenever you hit the ball and then this one says vision bonus which means the pci will enlarge before you hit the ball to me hero time exit velocity boost they are king when it comes to showdown since showdown usually just generates a bunch of weekly hit fly balls you want to go to your perks and you want to equip the perks that you just got and as you play showdown you want to be replacing these perks etc so we're going to go to manage squad which is one of the most important things to do especially after every single mini game and as you can see there are some players that have been added to our team and then if you press on any of them you will see that there are some players beyond the bench that you can go ahead and pick up like dexter fowler he's much better than that common right there then you look at someone like seth brown he's much better than eduardo nunez as a pinch hitter for us so we're also going to replace eduardo nunez with that joe panic we had drafted but they put garrett hampson out there instead who is a much better hitter you want to go to the right hand side and you want to make the lineup as you'd like I usually like having one of my best hitters if not my best hitter hitting first and then I like going righty lefty righty lefty or lefty righty lefty righty it's up to you how you decide to do things we're gonna go ahead and basically leave the lineup like this this is where I like it best and then you would just begin doing the mini game bosses we're gonna do this complete run together I'm gonna walk you all through it but that's gonna be in the next video that is most likely gonna be dropping three hours from this one so make sure you stay tuned make sure you hit that like button red subscribe button channel notifications if any of the cards interested you that popped up above me as the video was playing throughout make sure you click on the cards and you check out the other playlists we have on this channel Follow me on all my socials. Have a blessed day and night. Stay positive, stay safe, stay blessed. If you want to become a member, go ahead and do so. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.